All right, I'm the Fly Rate Master, and today we're talking about the X-Tool D8 scan tool. All right, full disclosure, X-Tool sent me this tool. They do not get to see the video before it goes live. They don't get any input, and I received no money from X-Tool for this review. Now, this is a wired scan tool, obviously. It's not wireless. It's tablet-based, like all of them, Android operating system. And this is going to be a first impressions video, so there's not going to be a deep dive into the functionality of the tool because I haven't used it extensively yet. But it is an affordable wired scan tool that has really good functionality. I haven't gotten deep into it because, well, I haven't gotten deep into it. Overall, it's fast. It auto IDs really quickly. Uh, it actually auto IDs quicker than any other scan tool I've got. I mean, part of that's because of Bluetooth, but even then it still auto IDs really fast. It has, you know, auto scan, which is something I always do. Just an FYI, always scan all your modules. You never know what might bite you in the butt when doing diagnostics. So you finish, you diagnose the car, you fix the car, your complaint is fixed. You test drive it, no lights on, you park it, give the keys, you know, and the customer comes and picks it up and they go drive it and an ABS light comes on. You didn't do an all system scan, otherwise you'd have seen pending code or a history code of a wheel speed sensor or something else. So always do a all system scan. I know it sucks sometimes because it takes a minute, but trust me, you wanna do an all system scan to make sure there's nothing that's gonna, well, come back and bite you. It updates through the internet. You gotta set it up through an account. Functionality, I compared it to, a, the, to my Snap-on. I was looking for a specific uh, control that was not available on this tool. It wasn't available on Snap-on. I went manual and did it myself. Done looking, waiting for scan tools to scan and all that. It didn't have it, neither did the Snap-on. I probably should have tried the Autel, but I left it in a car and it was dead. <laughs> Functionality-wise, it's been fairly positive. I don't think I've had any issues with it. Now, data PIDs are extensive and, well, you know, useful and not useful in the case of, you know, like any Chinese-produced tool, there's gonna be PIDs that may not be useful. But overall, it's a very usable tool. I think functionality wise, it's intuitive. It's not as clunky as some of the other Asian products. But like I said, I haven't been able to use it extensively. Well, <laughs> this week was not a heavy diagnostic week for me. <laughs> Did a lot of starters though. <laughs> but it just I just didn't have the opportunity to do a lot of diagnostics with it. It is what it is, but make sure you subscribe because I will be doing an update on this after I've had some time with it, gotten to diagnose a bunch of cars with it, looked at all the functionality, kind of compared it versus everything else I've got. So make sure you subscribe for that. So as always, thanks for watching. I am the Flyrate Master.